so a question then is, are, are humans and mammals just incapable of regeneration because we can't afford it because of cancer or because we don't have the right programs? Well, the answer is no. And improbable as it may seem, this is the only case of true regeneration in the mammalian kingdom. Now, for those of you who've never seen one of these before, it's a deer with antlers. And for those of you who know nothing about deer with antlers, this is very seasonal. It turns out that every year, these antlers fall off, every single year. And every year, they're replaced. New antlers grow. And every time the new antler grows, it acquires a new point. And so eventually, we talk about six-point bucks. These are deers that have had six years to develop these different points. Think what that means. At the base of the skull of the deer, right where my finger is, right there, is an area on the skull of the deer, which is different from our skull, called um, a pedicle. And on that pedicle are a series of little tissues that are in a little ring that are full of stem cells. And at appropriate moment, when the deer antler has fallen off, those stem cells then get into action and grow an entire new antler that's perfect every time. And not only that, it has a different pattern according to how old the, uh, 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 the deer is. And finally, it does it at an enormous speed. So when this guy is going full tilt for growing an antler, because this has to happen every season, because he uses these for display to get girls, this area right here has to be pumping out new um, growth at two centimeters a day. And the growth is all from the tip. So it looks just like a blastema. OK, now, that being said, uh, it doesn't obviously lend itself particularly to any kind of medical um, application.